Hey, it's Joseph here. I'm actually trying to make a three-parted video to make up a series and today's video is to be the very first one. And as part of that, I have a very interesting workflow that I would like to propose to the AEC industry, architecture, engineering, and construction. So here I have a conspicuous box, black box without much of label other than Intel inside and this product is provided to me from the friends at Razer and I'm gonna have to return this device once I'm done with the video production. So anything that I'm about to say is based on my experience, observation and also with some research that I have done. But all in all I'm glad that they were able to send me a review sample because now I can showcase interesting products to you guys. So let's go ahead and open this box. And inside we can see the Razer logo. And here you can see the white box. I'm assuming this is how you open it. And the charger stuff, I suppose. Let's go ahead and open that one first. So this is a charger. It is looking quite small actually. And I can see that it is being charged with USB-C, which is very good and braided cable quality stuff. And then the other end is for your specific region plug. So this connects here. Boring stuff. Let's just get it out of the way. Nothing more in here. And then let's look at the rest of the box and then sort of textured white grayish box with Razer's logo. And on the back, there's some written note here, designed and engineered by Razer in California. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and open it. So as I open it, I can see sort of light silver finish of the laptop. Underneath the laptop, some paperwork as expected. Some of instruction, stickers. Okay, so let's look at the real stuff. So here the model number that I have is RZ09-03. You can probably search that to get a specific SKU of this laptop here. So right off the bat, it is a very clean looking device that's worth a thumbnail. Let me capture that. It is almost just straight up rectangular with a silvery Razer logo there. I love the minimalistic take on this. And on the back, I can see some grill. I do kind of see speaker maybe is what I'm seeing. Either fan or speaker as I can see sort of the circular objects just through the grills. And then there are massive amount of air vents back here. I assume that's where it's going to vent the most. And then there's very grippy rubber. I really like this rubber that is going to lift up the laptop itself and it is not going to move. It's gonna move the table. And I can also see the hex screws that you can open up to get into the device, which I am not going to at the moment, but that's what I can see in terms of the top and underneath. Let's also look at the side here. So on one side, you can kind of see the profile of it. And I'm really liking this minimalistic take on this, but the top is kind of sharp, or let's say very flat, whereas it is sort of rounded on the bottom edge here. So that's sort of their design language. It is looking very, very clean with this very little seam in between the top and the bottom panel. Since we're looking at the side of the laptop, let's look at the ports. And on this corner, I can see USB-C. I need to confirm whether that's Thunderbolt. And the second one is USB type A port, the headphone combo jack. This is 3.5 mil for your headphones. And then moving on to the other side, again, kept quite simple. Another USB-C, need to confirm that's Thunderbolt again. And another USB type A port, and I need to confirm the exact SKU of that, but it is at least 3.0 version. And on the front here, I'm seeing a little hole. I'm assuming that's some sort of LED charging indicator. And there's a little slit for me to put my finger and then lift up the screen. But let's go ahead and open it. Thanks to the grippy rubber feet on it, you can just open and close without much of a problem. That's really good to see. No 
sliding around at all. Really well engineered here. That's one of the best I've actually seen there. The whole construct of the laptop is really solid. It is all metal build and there's very little flex or no flex at all. And again, inside is kept as light silvery look. I believe Razer calls this sort of the mercury white. It is looking nice. And on the either side of the keyboard, I'm seeing speaker grill. The overall trackpad side is quite large and it is feeling like glass to me and very, very solid trackpad too. I like the feel of it. And the keyboard keys are slightly lighter gray and overall, again, looking very clean. And on the top, I can see a webcam with a microphone and I'm assuming that is compatible with Windows Hello as well. And very small Razer logo. I love the overall design and the solid build quality of this device. And then I can locate the power button on the top right hand corner and then nothing out of ordinary other than a shift being on the bottom right hand corner after the up arrow key. So that may put off some people. The keys are in a good shape. And just to note, the charger is I misspoke last time when I did this calculation. So it is 65 watt charger. And as I connect to the power source, I can see a little LED indicator on the charger itself. And also I need to tell you about the specification. So the specification will be highlighted here. And then overall MSRP of this device is 1300 US dollars. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show inside of this video, showcasing Razer laptop blade stealth 13 inch mercury white model so if you have enjoyed this content please like this video and subscribe to my channel for continue watching these type of videos and thank you so much for watching as always i'll see you next time bye